Forex market, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got uh, we got the New Zealand Canadian today. Uh, we want to follow up on this uh, on this bearish position that we got in quite a while ago. Actually, we got in when price came uh, came back from from this high and broke below 80, 88.41, which we consider to be a big big key level resistance. And we like the fact that price kind of you know crossed below that area and you can see where we pulled the trigger the first time um it's it was not the best timing to say the least you know because price just gave us one more day of negativity and then everything turned up and for probably over 10 days now we're just sitting here you know sitting tight holding this position because uh according to the game plan as long as price remains below 88.41, which is our main point of reference, we're going to keep our position intact. In fact, we felt that when price was, you know, starting to soar and uh, starting to rise from that, uh, from that low, from that local low we had, uh, we thought price may be just on its way to recheck that area, right? Kind of retest that 88.41, find some resistance and then turn back down. But we also knew that if that's going to be the case, we are going to be looking at what we call a qualified head and shoulders pattern, which is even better, you know, because having such a strong and reliable uh, reversal pattern at this point is actually very good for us, right? I mean, obviously, it spells out bearish conviction big time. But I want to remind you how everything started here. Because when we saw the first high low and then the higher high reaching 80, 89, 30, 33 here, we knew this is a very stiff resistance. It's actually the last line of resort in this particular formation we've been tracking. It's actually coming from the weekly chart I'm going to show you in a minute. But basically when price came down, right, we went quickly to check up how this was looking, looking like from the weekly perspective. And we saw this, right? I mean, we saw how price was first unable to break 89.33 for the second time because we had a previous engagement, right? Around July when everything, you know, the, the New Zealand Canadian was trying to drill through that area, but it, it failed. And then it started to turn around. It broke 80, 86.67, which is why when price here wasn't on the upside, we suspected that this was just a technical correction to the first downside segment. Now, when we actually checked that out from the monthly perspective, we found that we found out that this move here, you know, this crossover 8841 ended up just as a spike. Let me show you how that looks like from the monthly perspective. It's quite interesting and we feel this is very important to note because Ever since price broke below 88.41, which is a couple of months ago, it wasn't able to cross over yet. Even though we saw from the weekly perspective and the daily perspective, it did, right? I mean, again, we saw the head, right? The head of that hand and shoulders pattern. Let me show you again. It's definitely crossing over that 88.41. But mind you, this is the tip of the head. And it appears to be as pure noise when you look at the monthly chart. Let me show you this again. You see the spike? That's that. That's the tip of the head. All right. So price was unable to actually close the month above 88.41, which strongly suggests that this is a solid resistance level. Aside from the fact that it also, you know, spiked 89.33 here, and it should now just continue this downside reversal basically just finalize the reversal because we're still in kind of a consolidation phase where price is actually topping out right it came from below it was a big resist you know it was a, it was a big up upside trend and now it seems to be turning back down but it takes some time obviously it's like a you know, it's like a ship turning turning its uh, turning direction it it, ta it takes time until it actually finalize the move but I want to show you again, guys, because this is how I started this video, talking about a potential qualified head and shoulders pattern, which we always glad to see, right? Because now we see how price is, you know, is pushing against that 88.41, right? 
or should I say that 8841 pushing against price action? Price action is starting to turn around, right? Seems to be like it's uh, constructing the the right shoulder because we already see some negative negativity price starting to move away from that area from that 8141 level 88 sorry 8841 now it's starting to turn back down right once it continue once it complete that move all the way down pretty much to where it came from that's where this head and shoulders pattern you know is going to be finished and then of course we're going to be expecting uh that pattern to get you know to be activated right once it breaks down that's where that pattern is being activated. And of course, we should expect a full fledge downside reversal. First, hitting 8667, which is, uh, it always have been our, you know, our, our secondary target here. But eventually we expect price to reach 8370. Right? That's a big move. And you know what? Uh, if that's a, if that's a full fledged downside, if that's, a, you know, if, if that's a head and shoulders pattern in the making, then uh, we can definitely see how price can go all the way to 83.70. Also, of course, according to the big system that we have here, uh, which originates somewhere around the end, end of 2019, and we're still here, hoping, hoping, you know, hoping to see a full move all the way back to the lower section here. So that's the story, guys. We have for you on this one, New Zealand Canadian. I think the bottom line is uh, a qualified head and shoulders pattern in the making. We'll, we're going to give it a few more days just to make sure we're on the right side of this conviction. And we'll definitely come back to follow up on the situation in the near future. That's about it for this one, guys. See you in the next one. Take care.